Today marks the beginning of the 30th annual Banned Books Week. Mary Summers with the Maryland Library Association says you'd be surprised at some of the titles that frequently make the list of banned books. To Kill a Mockingbird is one that I think would surprise people. Its first challenge in 1977 was basically because the word damn was in it. Summers says most people who challenge books are motivated by concern. Concern for their families and concern for the world in general. I think that's important to remember, but, you know, removing or restricting the books so that my family can't read them is unacceptable. Go to our website, cbsdc.com, to find out what your library is doing during this annual celebration of the freedom to read. Sarah Jacobs, All News 99.1.